Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done an anti-haul and I have my reasons and this anti-haul is going to be a little bit different and I think you guys are going to like it. So if you guys are a fan of anti-hauls, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like them. And today this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be telling you guys about the products that I don't want to buy, but I'm also going to give you an example of a product that I do want to buy from that brand because I know anti-hauls can come off as negative and I don't want you guys to think I am bashing any brands because I never am in my anti-hauls. I just have some reasons why I don't want certain products. So if you guys are interested in hearing about what I'm not planning on purchasing in the makeup world and you also might be interested in a little giveaway, then just keep on watching. Also, before I start jumping in to the products that I'm not going to be purchasing, I would love it so much if you would make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I put out new videos every single week and also hit that notification bell. I've had a lot of complaints that my videos are not popping up in your subscription feed. So hit that bell and you will be notified of my uploads and let's get into my anti-haul list. So first up on my list, this is not going to come as a surprise to you guys, I'm sure, but I am not going to be purchasing the Kylie Cosmetics brushes that just launched for the holidays. You have got to be kidding me. I know that this is just like beating a dead horse because everybody is pissed about the price of these brushes, but $360 for that brush set. Now I know that there are so many videos reviewing the brushes. I recommend you check them out if you are interested in purchasing any of the brushes, but certainly do not purchase that bundle. That is ridiculous. That price is insane. And you can get the same quality elsewhere for so much cheaper. And another thing I did want to quickly mention about the brush set and why I won't be buying it is the entire brush set is real hair. Now, sometimes I do like some real hair brushes, especially for highlighting, but if you are putting real hair into your powder brushes or your like under eye brushes, they're going to be very pokey and uncomfortable and they also soak up a lot of product. I would not use it for foundation either. I like my real hair brushes for blending in the crease of my eye and also highlighter, but that's it. Now I do have a product from Kylie Cosmetics that I am interested in trying and you guys let me know if you have tried them already, but that is the new concealers. Now the new concealers from Kylie Cosmetics are $20 and I think that there is a pretty wide shade range so I like that and I've heard a couple people compare the concealer to the Tarte Shape Tape. So I am interested in trying out the concealer. If that is something that you guys would like me to review then go ahead and let me know in the comments below and if you've tried it I would love to know what you think about it and that goes for the brushes as well. If you've tried any of them how are you liking them? I would love to have that discussion down below. Next up is also in the Kardashian family. I am not interested in buying the KKW Ultra Light Beams. So those are those loose highlighters and gloss duos that are for sale. They retail for $32 each or you can get the bundle of all of the duos for $160. Now the reason I am not interested in these is not so much for the lip gloss side but actually the loose highlighter side. From the swatches that I have seen, I feel like none of them are super suitable for a very light or medium skin tone. I feel like they look good on really tan people and darker skin, which is great. But from what I've seen, they're very glittery and they're not exactly the right color for me. If I would have seen one of the swatches that I thought would have been beautiful for my skin tone, then I probably would have picked one of those duos up. But for the color selection that I have seen, I'm not quite interested in them. So I'm not going to be picking any of those up, but I always love to hear your opinions if you have tried them out. And the product that I actually am interested in purchasing from Kim Kardashian is her fragrance. So I really want to try the Gardenia fragrance. The full bigger size is $60 or there is a smaller size for $35. So that is something that I will be purchasing from that brand. Next up, Cover FX has recently released some liquid eyeshadows called Shimmer Veils. And I just have to say, I am not a huge fan of liquid eyeshadow in general. I feel like 
it is just harder to work with. I'm not a huge fan of putting liquid eyeshadow on my eyes. The only ones that I have been super impressed with are the Stila, the Magnificent Metal Glitters. I have one of them and I really do enjoy it, but it's more on the glitter side than the eyeshadow side, and these new Shimmer Veils look like they are more on the eyeshadow liquidy side. So these are retailing for $28. I believe that they're available already on Ulta. And the product that I am interested in buying from Cover FX is a new product. I don't think it has launched yet as I film this video. I think it's launching tomorrow. And they are the Cover FX Glitter Drops. So they are launching exclusively at Sephora. And I believe tomorrow you can only purchase them through Sephora's Instagram stories. And that is on the 19th of December. If you are wondering, I'm not sure when this video is going up. But the glitter drops, for some reason, I am interested in them. I know that not everybody wants glitter on their face, but around New Year's and the holiday season, I am such a freak about glitter, so I think I might pick one of those up. And if you guys do want to hear my opinion on them, I suggest following me on Snapchat and also Instagram. I'm really utilizing those platforms a lot more but I'm excited to try them out and see what they're all about. I believe it's a highlighter drop, but it has glitter in it. So if you're not a fan of glittery highlighters, I suggest sticking to their regular custom enhancer drops because they are amazing. One of my favorite highlighters, hands down. So I will be trying the glitter drops. Now, next up, I talked about this on Twitter a little bit, but I am certainly not going to be purchasing the glitter mask from Glam Glow. And I know everybody has their opinion on it, whether they like it or not. And that's totally fine if you guys want to try it that's fine but my reason for not wanting to try it is it has big chunky glitters in it like stars and little shapes like that and I have very sensitive skin and I know that it's just a peel off mask so you put it on you let it dry and you peel it off so technically it's not supposed to be exfoliating because you don't have to rub the glitters on but I feel like just painting that mask on alone with those little sharp edges is enough to scare me away from trying it I personally don't feel like glitter should be in skincare you can have little shimmers and that's fine but chunky heavy glitter I feel like is just abrasive for your skin and I'm not a professional but I just feel like that doesn't go hand in hand with skincare and not only that but the glitter mask actually retails for $69 which is pretty hefty you guys especially for an item that is a little bit more fun and novelty. I'm sure that there are some nice ingredients in there. Glam Glow has really great ingredients, but it still is novelty. It's a glitter mask. It's kind of for fun. I'm not going to be paying $70 for that. And with my fears when it comes to glitter, definitely will not be picking that up. But a product that I have been loving from Glam Glow and that I will continue to repurchase is the Galacta Cleanse Cleanser. I talked about it in my Get Unready With Me video. It smells amazing. I've been using it to take off my face makeup and that product has shimmer in it, but it doesn't have chunky glitter in it. So it's kind of like a happy medium. I love that cleanser. If you haven't heard of it, you can check out my Get Unready With Me video. I have it linked and it smells so good. The smell of it alone, oh, I love it so much, but it works really nice to take off face makeup at the end of the day. So I really love and recommend that product from Glam Glow. And last up, we have an eyeshadow palette. I am not interested in buying the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar Palette. I am not happy with that color selection at all. I don't know about you guys. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Now, these chocolate bar palettes retail for $49, so that is not cheap, you guys. It is a high-end palette, but I feel like for the price, there should have been a wider variety of colors. If you are medium to deep skin, that white chocolate bar palette is going to be useless. The colors are so white and pastel and ashy. I feel like it just will not look good. But even for me with more fair to medium skin, I am not going to mess around with that palette. I don't feel like it would suit me. I saw it in Sephora and I looked at it and I was just not impressed at all. But 
the palette that I am interested in is the new gold chocolate bar palette. So that one looks like it has some nice jewel tones in it. And of course, gold. I love gold. So I think I am interested in purchasing the gold one. If you guys have either of them, let me know your opinions down below. But that white chocolate bar palette just rubs me the wrong way for some reason. I feel like it was kind of thrown together. I don't like the color selection at all and I don't really know what they were going for. I just feel like it's not useful. And I have loved the chocolate bar formula. I've loved some of the palettes in the past. I have, I think, the first three of them and I really do enjoy them and I love the smell of them for sure. But that color selection I just cannot get down with. But I do like the looks of the golden one. So yeah, that is my last item that I will not be purchasing in this anti-haul. So that is it for today's anti-haul. Let me know if you like this setup, if you want me to talk about products I am not going to be buying and products that I am interested in buying. I feel like it flows nicer. It's not completely negative. If you guys don't like that form, you guys know I don't care <laughs> what people think. If I don't like a product, I'm going to share with you guys like you're my friends because I feel like you are my friends the information and reasons why I'm not going to be purchasing things. So if you guys do like anti-hauls and you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up for me. And as promised, I have a little giveaway in all of my uploads in the month of December. So if you guys are interested, I have a little prize for you guys in this video. So recently I received the Chroma Glow palette from Sigma and I already received it in PR. So I have a PR package that I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys in this video. So here is today's prize. One of you guys will be winning the Chroma Glow Shimmer and Highlight Palette as well as three highlighting Sigma brushes. So the brushes that you are going to win are the F03 High Cheekbone Highlighting Brush, my favorite strobing fan brush and also the tapered highlighter brush and i'm going to send it as is in the pr packaging so as always with my giveaways the rules are very simple this giveaway is international you must be a subscriber to my channel so hit that subscribe button right now get it over with and leave a comment down below telling me why you want to win and i will have the rules in the description box so you guys can check them out and make sure that you followed all of them i'm going to pick the winner fairly quickly after i upload this video maybe a day or two after it goes up because i want to get everything shipped out before christmas but if you guys want to win check the description box for all of the rules i will have them down there and thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support this year i love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart you mean so much to me so that is all i have to say don't forget to like this video if you enjoy my anti hauls and you want to see more of them I would be happy to do so. There's always going to be products that I'm not going to be purchasing, of course. But thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.